Harry and his wife Meghan Markle have signed a mammoth deal with Netflix believed to be worth $109 million to create original programming. So far, they have announced two projects, Heart of Invictus about the Invictus Games, a Paralympic-style event Harry created for injured or sick military personnel and veterans, and Pearl, an animated show for children Meghan is creating alongside Sir Elton John's husband David Furnish. However, there is much speculation that the couple will eventually need to give more intimate details of their own lives to match the expectations associated with such a heavy price tag. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex would need to be careful though, as Harry's Apple TV Plus series may have damaged relations further with the royal family. Harry and Oprah Winfrey starred and co-created Apple TV Plus TMS The Me You Can TMTC, a five-part mental health documentary series released on the streaming platform on May 21. The show features American boxer Ginny Fuchs who details her experience with OCD that worsened during the Olympics, whilst Lady Gaga also recounted the psychotic break she suffered after being raped, which led to her self-harm. Yet all the stories of depression, grief, PTSD and other mental health issues are intertwined with Harry TMS own confessions. Read more, Meghan and Harry TMS huge Netflix deal to be tricky tightrope to walk trademark The Prince discusses his nightmare time in his late 20s and early 30s, when he TMD suffer from panic attacks, severe anxiety and turned to drinking and drugs to make me feel less like I was feeling. The Duke also revealed his main memory of his late mother, the Princess of Wales, is her driving him and brother Prince William away from the paparazzi as fast as possible, despite almost being blinded by tears. The Apple TV Plus documentary will be followed by Netflix content, as announced last September by Harry and Meghan. The couple TMS deal is rumored to be worth as much as $108 million and will feature content including scripted series, documentaries features, and children TMS programming. Pod Save the Queen is hosted by Anne Gripper and features Daily Mirror royal editor Russell Myers. The family will be very nervous about him talking and that TMS been widely said. How much more can he do it? Don't miss, will there be an appetite for him to keep in criticizing his family when he TMS got to face them? Despite their Apple TV Plus work being panned by critics, Mr. Myers stressed that the work had been a success. My Myers said, it has gone fantastically well. Regardless of what people think of it, people are obviously quite interested in it and want to watch it. Harry and Meghan have been at the center of a number of controversies since their decision to step down from public royal duties last year. Indeed, the Apple TV Plus documentary was released just 10 weeks after Oprah TMS two-hour sit-down with the couple who delivered several bombshell claims. The Sussexes spoke of the alleged racism Meghan faced while in the UK and how they felt hounded by the British press. Moreover, Meghan also claimed that comments from an unnamed member of the royal family had been made about their son Archie TMS skin color. She said, in those months when I was pregnant, we had in tandem the conversation of you want TMT be given security, trademark not going to be given a title trademark, and also concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he TMS born. The couple also announced they had signed a deal with Spotify last year, with Harry and Meghan's charity receiving an undisclosed sum from the partnership. Furthermore, the Duke of Sussex has reportedly been working on a book for over a year with the first draft of the manuscript said to be almost complete. The Prince has allegedly teamed up ghostwriter Junior Moringa, a Pulitzer Prize winner famous for his memoirs with tennis player Andre Agassi. Harry said in a statement, I TMM writing this not as the prince I was born but as the man I have become. Listen to Pod Save the Queen on all podcast platforms.